All right, so I'm really excited to show you this phone because I've been playing around with it for the past couple of weeks. This is the Dodgy V20 Pro rugged phone. And the reason why I'm so interested into it is because it's more of a tool than it is a phone. So let's check it out. So I do want to thank Duji for sending this over to me. And to be honest, I don't normally do phone reviews on this channel. Mostly I stick to tech. The reason why I agreed to checking out this phone because this is more tech than it is a phone. Now everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. And the retail price of this phone is $669. And I do have a coupon code for you guys down in the description as well for $60 off. So it'll come out to $609 instead. So if you guys are interested, yeah, everything will be linked down in the description below. Now, first off, why am I so interested? into this phone. There are so many things going for this and this has become one of my favorite phones right now to use just because of the sheer capabilities of what it can do. Now to start off this is using Android 12. It's also got a 6.58 inch screen at 120 hertz, 2k resolution, 20 by 9 aspect ratio and 700 nit of brightness which is a really bright phone. It is completely hard shell so it's very rugged. You could drop the phone it should be fine. It's also completely waterproof. It's not just water like, oh, I accidentally dropped it into the sink or something like that. It is submergible. You can take this phone into a pool and it has options for you to actually disable the front screen panel so you don't accidentally touch it. So it's intentionally made so you could actually bring it into water. It's got 12 gigs of RAM and eight gigs of virtual RAM, which I really don't consider as RAM, but they sell it off as 20 gigs of RAM, but it's really 12 gigs of RAM. 250 gigs of storage built in. It also supports dual SIM. So if you're using this for work and personal use, you can actually have two networks on here for two SIMs. It's using also Gorilla Glass in the front, so it's pretty durable. And a few other features we're gonna to touch on in this video as well. But the bread and butter of this whole thing is the cameras. You have a 64 megapixel main camera, 16 megapixel front camera, 24 megapixel night vision camera, and then the thermal camera. Just having these selection of cameras, which is night vision and thermal, makes a huge difference in my everyday workflow. Now, I generally bought this Flickr uh, for $300 that is a USB-C compatible and you plug it into the phone. Just this device alone, yes, even though it's portable, um, it is $300 just for this device. And the resolution on this is 640 by 480. So it's very low resolution compared to the infrared resolution that you get out of this phone, which is 1440 by 1080. So it's a widescreen resolution that you're getting just from thermals. I've been using this thermal camera a lot recently just for the work with the GPU and the fan setup that I've been doing. Like I've been 3D printing different fan setups um, and I'm looking at the thermal output of the fan just using this camera. Also, when I was doing my 3D printer reviews, I was also using this thermal camera just to see how the heated bed was. Just that alone, it's paid itself off just using it for other stuff. Now, if you're in a contractor or if you're a construction worker and you do a lot of general work, this camera has all the tools that you need just for that basis. So imagine me trying to play with that in the tech world. That, that is just so much things you can do. Now, as far as battery life goes, it has a 6,000 milliamp battery. It does have a smart battery manager. So if it sees applications being used that shouldn't be, it'll actually disable the application if you wanted to. Uh, I was actually able to get this on so far six days on standby and I still have 78% battery. I'm pretty sure I could last maybe three weeks without having a charge on standby and have no problem whatsoever. It does have features where you can plug this into another phone and charge a different phone. So it does have that capability to charge other phones. Uh, it supposedly have wireless charging support. I was not able to get that to work. I'm gonna have to double check on that and I'll probably leave something in the comments because I've ha I use wireless charger religiously. I don't usually charge my phone through the cable and it doesn't seem to work on this. Maybe because of the metal bracket or I have to get another device for it or something, but supposedly it has wireless charging, but I, I never got it to work. The other stuff that we're gonna touch base on as well is that it's got a side fingerprint which is something I really like compared to the front screen fingerprint where the screen becomes, yeah, I don't like the screen fingerprints because it doesn't detect it very well. So this is a physical button that your fingerprint can go on and the detection is very, very well. Uh, you have two volume buttons off to the side on the top. And then on the opposite side, you have a programmable key, which is really cool because this key actually supports walkie talkie. So they have a application, I forgot the name of it. I'll put it up on the list over here, but 
if you download that app, it becomes a walkie-talkie and could program this key to use it for that application or anything else. You could double tap it to do something or for me, I actually have it double tap and it turns on the flashlight. You could program it with a few other things. Whatever you want, you could program this separate key for. Now also another thing that you have is kickstand. It's built into the case so you have its own little kickstand and you could just rest your phone wherever you want. So whatever you're seeing when it was laying over here, it was on its kickstand. Now here is the fun part. On the phone itself, it comes with a bunch of tools. You have the infrared tool where you could actually set it up so you can record time lapse, video, or just take photos. And you could set it up for different parameters. So you could see this right now. This is just thermal of me. Obviously I'm pretty hot. And then you could see certain things that are leaking through certain spots that are hot over there. There's just a lot of things you could do with this. And there's a lot of options that you could do with the time with a thermal camera. Going into the night vision camera, I'm gonna show more examples, but this is just making me look black and white. You'll be able to see a lot more without having to use the flash. And then you have your standard modes like video or photo mode, which is pretty normal. I'm gonna show you some examples of the photos that I'm taking as well. And here's the fun part. This is the outdoor toolbox. It has a bunch of tools in here, which is like pendulum, protractor, noise test. I actually been using this for DB noise just to see how loud the fans are. So uh, noise check, magnifier, uh, compass. This is basically a full toolbox. If you're gonna go camping, it has everything you need. Night vision, um, thermal cameras, it has a compass, everything that you need. So this is made basically for either a contractor or an outdoorsy person to go camping with. I played around with each one of these tools and I gotta say this is probably by far the most useful phone I have ever used. And I've been using this for the past two weeks since I had the phone. I just recently switched back to my main phone which is the Nothing Phone 1. But now I'm missing some of the features that I really like with this since I've been playing with it. Especially the fingerprint scanner onto the side. I don't know how big of a deal that was up until I liked the physical button versus the touchscreen. Because there are so many times if you got something on your hand or your hand's a little sweaty, the touchscreen doesn't work. So this button works almost all the time. Moving forward, since it is Android 12 uh, and it is on a pretty fast processor, it is able to do most of the things that you normally would do like play games, go through browsing, YouTube, your normal stuff. Uh, I do got to say, this does have only one speaker compared to other phones where they pr try to project the speaker on one side and project the sound from the other to give you like a more of a stereo sound. This does not do that. So on YouTube videos, it does get loud, but it's not the best audio quality you can get. Amazing job uh, with this printer. Now, this is the pro version that we are reviewing and it's on sale now for $299. There's also the... Neptune 4, which is the non-pro version for 249, which you will still be able to achieve speeds of 500 millimeters per second. Now compared to its predecessor, which is the Neptune 3, this will make that look like a village idiot. And I'm not even kidding about that. Now to talk about the specs a little bit. They also have a little feature over here. I think they try to mimic iPhones where they give you this pill and you could actually enable or disable it because you got the camera right up on top. And this little pill will basically give you the ability to see notifications up on top if you want or not. Uh, I personally disable it because I find it a little bit more annoying than it is useful. So I, we already have notifications up on top. I don't need another pill telling me what I'm doing already while I'm doing it. Like if I'm watching a YouTube video, it'll actually just show me that I'm watching a YouTube video. Don't need it. This is another feature that I will probably not use, but this is a very useful feature for people who just like certain things on their screen, which is called the easy launcher. So in this, you have something called the Easy Launcher. It'll actually make everything with big icons and you could set it up and it'll just use it like, I consider this like vision impaired and you need to see big buttons and use certain things. This has it like that. And now I know this is more just talking about all the features, but that's really it. This phone is really full of features and I'm not really stressed about all the performance if I'm worried about how much frames I'm gonna get in a game because that's not built for this. This is really built for using it as a utility, uh, a toolbox. So that is it for me, guys. I really do like this phone. I've been using this for the past two weeks and I'm planning, I switched it over to my other phone and I'm switching back to this phone because of all the tools that it has. So yeah, I think it's worth every penny for $609, obviously with the discount code. It gives me all the tools that I need and more some. So I think it's really worth its value. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys have any questions about this phone, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And then same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.